Welcome, welcome, welcome. Contrary to the ever popular, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me, words do hurt. I'm here to tell you, words matter, words have power. Not only the words that other people say to you, but more importantly, the words you also say to yourself. They affect your life and your money in immense ways. In this video, I'm gonna give you three quick tips on how you can start shifting your language, the words and phrases that you use when you talk about money. And that will begin to change your life. Come on, let's go. Hi, in case you haven't met me, I'm Dr. Beverly Wixon, money mindset mentor and coach. I help people, mostly women, who work for their money and who want to feel financial freedom and feel like they're enjoying their work and receiving what they deserve. Because you know what? You deserve to be wealthy. You deserve to live a rich life. You deserve to have abundance in your life and to enjoy everything that this world has to offer. By the way, if you haven't already subscribed, why don't you take care of that right now? Hit the subscribe button, ring the little bell so you'll get notifications every time I upload a new video. Now, as I was saying, language matters. The words and phrases that you use are mainly habitual, which is great news because if it's a habit, it can be changed. You can easily retrain yourself with new words, new phrases, more empowering words and phrases about life and about money so that you can begin to attract money with ease and grace. In another video, my story, English teacher to money mindset mentor and coach, I talked about how my life completely began to change when I just quit saying a few key phrases. Things like, I'm broke, I'm just a teacher, I can't afford. You can watch that if you wanna click on the link up above. See, the words and phrases that you use about money, especially out loud, reflect what you truly think. So, shifting your language is really imperative to your wealth. Granted, it won't happen all at once, but shifting your language about money is really simple. First, you start with one phrase, then you add another, and then another, and the next thing you know, somebody else is making that phrase and you're thinking, wow, I haven't said that in ages. Plus, the more important part, is you start to realize how money has just started coming to you without you working so hard, without you struggling for it, without you working long extra hours in a toxic environment. Everything will begin to change when you start to shift your language. And it's a simple three-step process. Notice, choose, interrupt. So first, step one, is to notice the words and phrases that you say about money. So start paying close attention to what you're saying about money. I mean, you might have some family stories, some phrases that your family use, some phrases you've picked up from colleagues or society in general. Think about the way you describe your current financial status. If you frequently say you're broke or you don't have any money, well, that's likely to be true. Self-fulfilling prophecy you're likely to feel helpless instead of capable of changing your situation. But I'm here to tell you, you can change it. Also, think about what you say about wealthy people. Do you call them one percenters, rich bitches, filthy rich, money hungry, greedy, or even the opposite? Think about the way you talk about people with a lack of funds. Do you call them poor as a church mouse? Do you say you're slaving away or they're slaving away? Are you saying that your, your work is voluntary and you're, or you're working for peanuts when it's not voluntary work? <laughs> Do you talk about purchases and the prices of things as highway robbery, what a ripoff, nobody should be able to charge that much? You just think about the words and phrases that you use. And what do you say about money itself? Do you say things like easy come, easy go, cold, hard, cash, money can't buy love, money can't buy happiness, money is the root of all evil, or the love of money is the root of all evil? first thing you do is notice it. So I suggest that you make a list 
just write out a list of some of those words and phrases that you use. Don't do anything about it yet, just start the list. So after you've made the list, it's time for step two. Choose your words. Start by cutting some obvious phrases, the ones you say the most, such as I can't afford, or I'm broke, or I'm poor as a church mouse. Whatever it might be that you say a lot, cut that phrase from your vocabulary now. As you cut those phrases from your vocabulary, of course you're gonna need a replacement, right? So instead, it can be something like, I choose not to spend my money on that right now. I could afford that if I really wanted it. I just don't want it that much. All kinds of different ways you can change I'm broke or I can't afford to making it your choice not to spend money on that particular item. Because I mean, think about it. How many times have we said, oh, I can't afford that, and then 10 minutes later or a day later, we're out buying something that costs 10 times that much? Happens all the time. So the fact is we can't afford it. It's our choice not to spend it. So we have to remind ourselves that that is our choice. Because honestly, when we're saying it, our brain starts to think it. We really can't afford it. And then the brain gets confused when we go out and buy something that costs a whole lot more. Change your language, change your things. You might even say things like, I don't need money. Well, change that into something like, the more money I have, the more people I can help. I need money so I can help more people. I need more money so I can be more philanthropic. We all need money. It just depends on what you want to do with it. Start changing those words and you'll start to change the way money comes to you and the way you use money. So you'll start to change your whole life. Now I'll grant you, changing any habit takes time and it's difficult at first. You will catch yourself even when you say, okay, I'm never gonna say I'm broke again. You'll catch yourself saying it. It's okay, correct it. As soon as you realize it, change it. You may not realize it when you first say it. You might realize it an hour or so later that you said, I'm broke, and you just, ah, I can't believe I said that. It's okay, don't beat yourself up. Just say, darn it, I said I'm broke. I'm not broke. I just choose not to spend my money on that. You may be talking to yourself. You may be in the shower when you have that realization. It's okay, say out loud, I'm not broke. I just choose not to spend my money on that. And as you do this, you will start to change the habit so that from now on, you will catch yourself not saying I'm broke. And you'll hear somebody else say it and you'll realize it. You'll be like, That's so cool. I haven't said that in weeks or months or whatever. You might even say to them, oh, come on, you're not broke. You're making a choice. It's all a choice. Before I go on to step three, which is interrupt the pattern, let me interrupt myself. If you haven't already subscribed to Money Mindset for Women Who Desire Financial Freedom Without Stress, go ahead and hit that button right now and subscribe. Okay, moving on to step three. Interrupt the pattern by shutting down negative thoughts. Whenever you catch yourself saying one of those words or phrases that you're cutting out, simply interrupt the pattern. You can simply say, stop. I have known people who put rubber bands on their wrist and popped it. Personally, I think that hurts a little bit, but you know, if it works for you, it works for you. It might be something as simple as, darn it, or oops, I forgive myself. These are my choices. Pick some word, some phrase, maybe it's just snapping your fingers. Use anything that helps you interrupt your pattern so that you can now move into more empowering words, more empowering phrases. So. Remember, words have power, so choose them wisely, and you will change your world. Now, as I said, change is not easy. It's a little difficult. So I suggest just choosing two phrases. Two phrases. I'm broke, I can't afford. Or if you call people rich bitches or filthy rich, change those two. Just pick two to start with and wipe those from your vocabulary. Work on just those. You may find yourself working on a couple of others, but you're focusing on those two. And once you've mastered that and you've removed them from your, from your vocabulary, go back and pick two more. And the funny thing is, as you're doing this, before you start going through and choosing them all, you will have already started to eliminate almost all of them without really trying, with only focusing on two or three phrases. 
So take your time, allow yourself some grace, start removing those disempowering phrases from your vocabulary and your life. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I know there's a gajillion videos out there that you could watch and I'm so appreciative that you chose to watch this one today. I really hope you found some value in it and if you did, please put a comment below. I'd love to hear about how it's working for you. If you're not yet a member of Money Mindset Magic for Women and Other Cool People, the Facebook community, come join us. The link's in the description. Hope to see you there and I hope you have an absolutely magically abundant day. Bye!